Hey friends, here we go again. This here is a sunset eyeshadow, also matching makeup video, which is why you see I'm pulling out these nail polishes. I have matching nails and I will have matching eyes. And there are the colors that I'm showing you. They are by LA Colors. You can go to your local dollar store and purchase those for about a dollar. Very good quality, quality uh, nail polish. And here I am using the first squad that I'm going to start with, and that is um, by Fergie. And this here, I believe, is called Silver Moon, and the other one is the Red Rouge Blush by NYX. And this is my 60 color shimmer palette by Profusion. Um, I'm just pulling them out and showing them to you, what I'm going to be using. And here, of course, I'm starting by um, getting rid of my pores with the baby skin. And that's by Maybelline. Um, and here, it, it, I'm starting now to use primers a little more often. So this is a night primer by e.l.f. It's a little bit shimmery, but I liked it. And um, now I'll be starting with the eyeshadow palettes. And I'm showing you this uh, this little makeup brush. It's a very cute little um, kit you can get at Walmart. And it's called Echo Tools, and it's a bunch of really good quality brushes. So here um, I am putting on my cream bases, and the first one that I'm putting on here I believe is by e.l.f., and it's called Toast. And then I use a second one, and this one is by Hard Candy, and um, I, I used it in my last video, but let me see what it says, Quicksand 571. And so I'm using two. Um, these would be like the dupes for the MAC paint pots. They're just cream eyeshadows that go under your powdered ones. And they do last and, and they work very well for longevity. And also it gives them a really nice um, satiny look. Um, so you got the staying power and you also have that. It makes your eyeshadows look a lot better and blend better. So I'm starting out with the orange, and this is going to be my transition color as well. There's two shades of orange. One um, is a little bit light, and the other one is a little bit bright and dark. And so starting out with the dark, and I'm kind of like combining them. I'm using the lighter one sort of as the what's going to serve to me as a transition. And also... Um, it's going to be the, uh, I forget the word I'm looking for, but never mind. It's my transition color. It's, it's going to create the, uh, the I forget what the word is, granite or whatever. Um, you guys get me. And um, I'm taking the orange and I'm using that in my socket line. So I'm starting there. And that's to start creating the shape that I want. And it's more or less going to be a little bit of a winged out effect. It works better for my eye shape. My eyes, as you all should know, are hooded. And so I'll take in here the Red Rouge by NYX. And this I used in the video with the red eyeshadow. And I'm going to be using that on the outer ends of the mobile lid. Um, it also will go up a little bit for me. This is a cream product, but I'm going to be setting it with a maroonish, reddish type of um, color which is going to come out of that silver moon palette that looks a, a lot like the Urban Decay um, palettes and I'm going to set that with that and these are all matte colors there are no shimmers in this and I think it looks best this way my personal opinion so as you can see I have already applied the red rouge which is a cream blush but it works for me as a red eyeshadow so the colors that I am imposing here are oranges, red, reddishes, and browns, and the maroon. And those to me are the colors, the basic colors, in a sunset. So on the inner corners, I'm going in with the lightest of the oranges. Um, in your inner eye, um, by where you are. Your tear ducts are should be where you apply your lightest colors. At least that's the way it, the way it works for me. And this keeps the eye shape um, intact. Uh, and here goes the maroonish 
well, it's kind of like maroonish, pinkish, brownish, all at the same time. It's a beautiful color. That's setting the red. And it's going to keep it nice and bright because I have to reapply. This was not just applied once and I was done. I applied this about three times over and then with a clean brush would go back and blend everything out. And that keeps it looking seamless and uh, creates the the uh, effect that you want where it's going to come out like real smoky and then have that faded out effect at the end of your at the seams of your eyeshadow and so here I do use that red shimmer and I place that on top of the maroonish color and the red and that just gave it a little bit more brightness and again reset the color the cream color because I applied that about three times and had to keep setting it so that gave it a nice, bright, very sturdy color. So this is an eyeshadow uh, that would not only last, I mean, you would have to scrub this off of your face. There's so many layers. Well, that's an exaggeration. But you get what I mean. And this is the way you should apply eyeshadow if you want it to stay and um, have that seamless look. It should be blended and reapplied, blended and reapplied regardless of what look you're look you're going for and I think that would go for creams as well as for powdered products now I'm gonna take in a second the lightest orange on the inner bottom part of the eye and you can see that for all of this application when I am using colors that I either wet because some of them I do wet and that's to get the most pigmentation out of the product as possible and um, I'm taking that orange I have wet the brush and I'm taking it under the eye the darkest orange on the outer part of the under eye and the lightest orange on the inner part then I also take the brown and the maroon and go under the eye with that as well that's going to create some smoke on the bottom and then on the brow bone, I took the lightest color of that Silver Moon palette, and it is a silverish color, and I put that on my brow bone. Now I have already here cut off the camera, applied my eyelashes, which were by e.l.f., and I'm showing them to you here. And um, I have also done my brows off camera. That was to save time, but I'm showing you that I used another e.l.f. product. Alpha is really, really coming up and up with the products they're releasing. And most everything I have used here is by e.l.f. And this is an eyeshadow, I mean, I'm sorry, an eyebrow palette. And also, I use another one by Salon Perfect. I'm showing it to you here. I combined the two colors. It was a dark brown and a medium brownish color. I also changed the, my brow shape just a little bit. And that's so that you guys don't always see the same boring, you know, effect. Um, went for something a little bit different, a little bit daring, um, but tasteful. And now this is, again, by e.l.f. This is a cold black eyeliner. Love, love. You guys need to go get this eyeliner. It is, oh, wow. And you see, we got a built-in sharpener right at the end, and I do show it to you. And so I'm going on top of the lashes and I'm going over the bands with this co eyeliner. I am also going to be using, um, that's Lash Accelerator by Rimmel. I used it off camera and curled my eyelashes before I put on the falsies. I'm also showing you here that that e.l.f. co liner has on the opposite end a blender. So I blended out my bottom eyeliner with that. And then with the brown in the Fergie Wet n Wild uh, palette, and that one, by the way, is called um, Desert uh, Festival. And uh, so I'm taking the Rimmel Mascara, and I am combining now my eyelashes with the falsies so that it looks real. And that's a great way to get your eyes to pop if you have hooded eyes or small eyes. And then I'm taking the mascara at the top, and bottom for maximum effect. Then in a second, I think I'm going to be getting into the face makeup. Now I'm showing you here the e.l.f. and that is a liquid pen um, eyeliner. I took that also on the top band and that was just to make sure that the lines are straight 
and everything is as you guys should know by now perfect and by the way I do recommend um, this this uh, liquid eye pen pen because that's what it is by elf I recommend every single product I have used in this video they're all most of them by elf with the exception of the wet n wild um, eyeshadow palette and the um, and the um, Silver Moon palette. Now, you guys know I'm not into primers, but this is a primer. It's a corrective primer by e.l.f. And um, I thought it was a, a great investment. And I also, along with it, uh, purchased an HD foundation. And uh, I do believe that the, that the shade is called Sand. And it's just a very nice medium beige. But the primer uh, really made my face feel very velvety. I don't know how much corrective work it did. I, I really didn't look into that. Um, I'll use it again and let you guys know. But here I am using the uh, makeup sponge. Uh, I, I wet it a little bit and just dampened it. And I'm applying the... I, I am applying the um, e.l.f. HD foundation and this is a new product they've just released and I thought I'd try it out. I think it's really great especially if you use it the way I did. It comes with very very nice pump. Like, of course I'm taking that um, everywhere on top of my hairline, up into my hairline, down into my neck, around my ears, anywhere where your skin is exposed even though this shade did match me perfectly. I did not have to do that but it's a good idea. At this point, you can already see how beautiful the colors have set into my my eyes, the sunset colors. Um, the pictures didn't do them a heck of a lot of justice, but you can see it here. So now I am taking my favorite concealer product by Hard Candy, and um, I'm just using it to brighten up the area, get create some highlight right in the under eye area. And I am again using the Beauty... Um, blender for that and by the way um, I would recommend just about every product I have now purchased by Hard Candy amazing uh, for the price that, that you can get this stuff for and again your local Walmart would be the best place I am setting my face powder I mean sorry my face makeup with my mineral uh, veil by Maybelline and I do believe that is Maybelline because I think I messed up in one video and called it Revlon. Um, I do that a lot. And here is my e.l.f. Kabuki brush. I am going to bronze with um, their glow, their bronzing glow. And I also, again, would highly, and I do mean highly, recommend this. Gives your face a very beautiful glow, just like it says. And so I am putting that onto my cheeks. I did not contour. I wanted to tone down the face because I played up the eyes. So um, that's a big, big thing for me. If I'm going to, you know, do a, a bold eye, I, I play down the rest of the face. I do put some blush on. And um, this here, I do believe, is that's also a, a highlight. Um, and off of the top of my head, I'm not real sure, but I do believe it's wet and wild. And it's just a highlight, um, it's a highlight uh, palette, if you will. And I took the darkest colors, a real dark pink and a light pink, combined them, and gave myself a nice glowy blush to go with the glowy bronzer. And remember, this is matching makeup, so my nails for maximum effect, and you can see them in the video match my eyes. Um, I am using the highlight. I know I didn't pull it up and show it to you, but this is by Revlon. This is their, um, I believe it's Skin Lights, and uh, this is a Claire Rose. And that, that I highly, highly recommend also. It gives you a very beautiful glow and a highlight. And here I'm taking the highlighter again with the lighter color and going over the Revlon and just for some more, for a little extra highlight, um, you don't have to do this. You can use one or the other. You can use none, but I think that it, it gives your face a beautiful glow. 
and that should be put on the high points of the face. And here I am going to be lip lining. I'm using my blonde lip liner or my nude one. I like to call it my nude one because it's so very, very close to the color of my skin and my lips. And then I'm choosing to use behind it a uh, nudish lipstick and that is by Wet n Wild. And I, get, I go over it just to show you guys that if you, you want to use a little bit of color and you know something with color but not with a big bang you can use this um, that's a high gloss and I cannot tell you who makes that I've had it for a long time but it is a high gloss um, I'm gonna go over this now with a lipstick by um, NYC and it is uh, called Plum Rum and that's to give you guys an alternative if you want to put some colors on your lips without going out too much. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much. I will have another version of this soon. Until next time, bye-bye.